had this pottery wheel for quite some time now and I tried it out with some cheap clay but that did not work at all. So I found this clay in the hobby store here in Denmark. I don't know if you can find it there. It is a self-drying clay and I'm just going to take a piece of that and try this pottery wheel out. I have been looking online on YouTube and so on for a tutorial on how to make these small pots as I have been trying uh, to make bigger pots on a bigger pottery wheel. So this is kind of fun to dip my fingers into clay again like this. I am going to put some background music on and then you can just enjoy me trying this out. It went um, so okay. I need some more practice. Oh, it's been a long time ago since I made real potteries. So this was still really really fun to do. And I actually ended up with a few decent pots. But take a look for yourself.
I ended up making four pots, well, three pots on a plate, and now I'm just going to let it dry before I sand the edges to make them smooth and nice looking. And this is how they turned out after sanding them. I'm going to take my silver citadel paint and I'm painting them silver on the inside. I do this on all four pots. As I'm going to use some of these pots for the watchmaker stin, I'm going to uh, paint them green. I like this nice uh, middle tone green I have here. So when that is all dry, I am taking my black citadel paint and I'm painting on some details, some dot with my dotting tools, some lines on the plate and things like that. But you can decorate these pots just like you feel like. The pottery wheel was one I found on eBay. They have a lot of different kinds, so I just found one that I liked and got that one. So if you want one, go on eBay and uh, look for mini pottery wheel. I, th I then sand the bottom of the pots a little because I want that to be just the clay and I glaze all of my pots. That's all there is for this. I hope you liked this video even though that it was a bit different than usual. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!